Halleluja, 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 Halleluja. When we commit sin, God gives us a sign. That's what sacrament of confession is. A sign that we are forgiven. A sign. We are men and women with a body, right? As having a body, we need a sign. A sign of love. How do I know that I, I love him? I, I give my shake hand. My brother, I love you. I love you. The sign. Uh, Christmas time, I send a I send a card, a sign that I care for you. We need signs, material, visible signs. And therefore, Jesus wants to give us a sign that we are forgiven. And God has always given us signs, you know, always given us signs. In the beginning, when Adam and Eve committed sin, they turned against God, they rebelled against God, and they turned to Satan. Adam and Eve, they trusted Satan more than God. God said, don't eat it. Satan said, eat it. And whom did they follow? Satan. And yet, God came in search of them. Adam. Adam, God called. Adam said, oh God, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm afraid. I'm ashamed. I'm naked. Even before sin, he was naked, wasn't he? In the Bible, nakedness means shame. I lost my self-respect. I cannot come and, and look into your eyes. I lost my self-respect. I am ashamed. You know a question God asked, Adam, who told you you are naked? Who told you you need to be ashamed of yourself? Who told you you lost your self-respect? I did not say, did I? God did not say. I did not say, did I? That's what Satan says. First, Satan will tempt you to sin. Once you committed a sin, Satan will tell you, what good are you for? Ah, look at this fellow. God said, did I say you are naked? And God understood the pain. God understood the pain of guilt in Adam and Eve. The shame, the terrible shame of having rejected God but then God did not punish them. You know what God did? God stitched a garment and gave to Adam and Eve a sign. God covered them with the garments, a sign, a visible physical sign to assure them that God has forgiven them. Cain committed a sin. He killed his brother Abel. And when Cain killed his brother Abel, Cain was angry. Cain was arrogant. He shouted at God, Am I my brother's keeper? Are you giving me a salary to keep my brother? Arrogant cry at God. God was not offended. You know, we must know that. My, our sin does not offend God. God does not take offense at our sins. God did not take offense. Rather, God knew this man was angry. God asked him, Cain, why is your face so distorted? So angry? That is what sin brings us. Shame, anger, lack of self-respect, self-contempt. And Cain said, oh God, I'm lost. I'm lost in sin. Everybody who sees me will kill me because I killed my brother. God said, no. Nobody will kill you. I give you a sign. On the forehead of Cain, God gave a sign that God has forgiven him. And the whole world must know this, that God has forgiven him. God gave a sign. Isaiah, a young man, a sinful young man, as we are told, 
in the temple praying suddenly overwhelming experience of God's holiness angels flying around crying holy 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 then Isaiah became aware of God's presence Isaiah cried out oh God I'm a sinful man I'm lost I'm born in sin living among sinful people my eyes have seen the glory of my God I'm lost in my sin you know what God did God gave him a sign God sent an angel with fire to burn the tip of Isaiah to assure him that his sin is taken away God gives us a sign when Jesus wanted to assure us when Jesus wanted to assure us of forgiveness Jesus also wanted to give us a sign give us a sign let me read this from the gospel of John those of you having Bible open your Bibles John chapter 20 John chapter 20 verse 19 on the evening of the that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you God the Father sent Jesus for what to give us peace and God the Father announced it through the message of the angels peace peace on earth God the Father sent Jesus to give us peace give us peace but then you know something very very significant Jesus never gave peace for, th for 30 years he lived in silence 30 years for three years he went about preaching he never gave peace to anyone you know why humankind was in sin terrible sin a sinner has no peace and so if there's no peace in your heart there will be sin there if there's no peace in your family there is sin if there's no peace in a parish sin go for confession sin therefore Jesus could not give us peace though he went about preaching for three years he could not give us peace no time did Jesus say peace be with you but on Good Friday he took upon himself all the sin all the powers of sin and he paid the price of our sin in his blood and he dispelled the darkness of sin in the splendor of the glory of the resurrection and then he came and said peace be with you peace be with you it's good for us my dear sisters and brothers it's good for us to know this if there is no peace if there's always quarrel and conflict in your family in your parish in your society be sure there is sin somewhere deep down and we need to offer all that sin to God for his peace to flow into us Jesus said peace be with you and there's one more thing after the resurrection whenever Jesus appeared to the disciples he repeated again and again this greeting peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you when he had said this he showed them his hands and his side the disciples rejoiced great joy came upon them rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus said to them again peace be with you again and again peace be with you as the father has sent me so I sent you the father God the father sent Jesus to give us peace now Jesus is telling the disciples as the father has sent me I'm sending you you go and give peace to everyone when you give the peace the peace must flow to them and for this the sin must be taken away and when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the Holy Spirit the power receive the Holy Spirit 
whenever you forgive the sins of any they will be forgiven whenever you do not forgive the sin of any they will not be forgiven hallelujah 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 now jesus is sending the disciples till the end of the world to go and tell everyone peace be with you to give peace but give it with a sign forgive their sins jesus established jesus established the sacred sacrament of priesthood for this purpose jesus gave the authority to the disciples as we read as we read in st paul's letter to timothy uh, paul said timothy my son i laid my hands on you to give my apostleship to you and now paul is telling timothy my son when you are old choose a person worthy and lay your hands on him and give the apostleship to him down the centuries down the generations this authority of apostleship is handed over by the laying of hands it has come to me to every priest to every bishop the bishops and the priests are the successors of the apostles and jesus is telling us when someone comes to me i'm a priest comes to me with a disturbed heart with enslavement of sin i should give him peace i should give her peace by leading him leading her to the sacrament of confession and looking at his eyes i must tell him in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit I absolve you a sign is given a sign of forgiveness sign is given and only then you are sure i am sure all of us are sure that our sin is taken away hallelujah hallelujah in the same way we must give a sign we must give a sign to everyone who hurt us everyone who hurt us we must give a sign and that's why jesus said you come to the altar matthew chapter 5 verses 23 onwards you come to the altar there you remember someone has something against you you come to the altar and there you remember someone has something against you what to do just pray for them i forgive ah oh, jesus i forgive no 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 jesus said go right go get reconciled give him a sign give her a sign that you have forgiven of course before going you should have prayed for him you should have forgiven him and go and give a sign go and hug him give him a gift go and smile you could not smile because your 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 uh, uh, mouth wall uh, all the muscles were stuck and stiff you could not smile go and smile and tell him my brother my sister i love you i prayed for you i'm sorry i hurt you give a sign there are many people who ask oh so difficult yeah it is difficult for the son of god to come down to the earth you know god could have said from heaven I forgive all the sins. He did not do that. He gave a sign. He sent his own son. And the invisible God became a sign of salvation. Came down as man. And that mystery of salvation continues today. And the Lord is telling us now. Every one of us. Go and get a sign. Go. that your sin is forgiven but before that go and give a sign to everyone who may have hurt you use your telephone use your telephone if you're not able to get him on the phone write very clearly very clearly write take a piece of paper and write 
should be given to him to her i'm sorry i hurt you i'm not able to come to you now but i want to tell you i'm praying for you i'm praying for you i'm ready to die for you i love you i care for you i'm there for you right today before you go for confession right and keep it and go and give it the first thing to do go and give it to him to her a sign only if you do that your your confession really becomes valid hallelujah 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 you know we are very intelligent people aren't we very intelligent people we can fool ourselves you may have made retreats in the past and even today you don't talk to your wife even today you don't talk to your friend who was your friend your neighbor you don't talk to the person you're working with in a parish you don't talk to someone because he is wrong she's wrong ah don't tell me that don't tell that to god god does not understand that language because he is is a merciful god if he's in the wrong it's my responsibility so i who know that he's in the wrong because he hurt me it's my response my mission my responsibility to go and tell him i'm sorry now don't go and tell him i forgive you no no that's not the word forgive me if you are not a pharisee if you are not a pharisee if you are a pharisee you have no salvation it's the publicans who get the salvation my dear sister some brothers let us as st paul tells us have this mind the mind of jesus christ the mind of jesus christ hallelujah 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 let's all stand up let's close our eyes i'm sure some of you are hurt by what i said if you are hurt it's your pride that is hurt i'm happy i hurt you because often we can become so self righteous we can become so self righteous we can bring arguments to remain rooted in hatred and anger and sin the lord is challenging you my brother my sister to become humble as jesus became humble to be obedient even to the cross jesus strike at the root of pride and self righteousness in my heart and give me a heart like you o oh jesus a heart beating in love and mercy a heart that's able to feel the pain of others and to go and get reconciled with them jesus i am a sinner to this day i i blamed others to this day i compared myself to others jesus and there i remained distressed and disturbed spreading my distress to everyone in my family my family is disturbed my neighborhood is disturbed and i have a reason a reason put in my heart by the devil no reason justifies me not to go for confession no reason justifies me to give an anger against anyone she says 
give me your mind your heart the heart god the father put in your body a heart to be concerned about everyone hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah.